it's a little tough for me. Uh, I wasn't really here yet, so I don't really remember him saying that. Uh, sounds like something he'd say, apologizing for something he doesn't need to. Because, um, I mean, at that point, all he could really control is his effort and how much he puts in, and he puts in more than almost anyone I've ever played with, right? So when it comes to the stuff on the field, I mean, I'm sure we didn't like some of the results, which we didn't um, last year. I think we finished at 6-11, and 11, which is pretty bad. Um, but ultimately, you know, um, Derek's a competitor, and he's a leader, and he's a perfectionist. So he wants to try to make sure everything gets right, um, and he's looking to do that here. Do you, do you just see a sense of excitement, like, hey, it's like, it's almost game week, like, it's time to kind of oh, it is put game last, week. you know what I'm saying, like, like you just see that, do you see it in his eyes, like, it's, he wants to prove, like, hey, like, this, this rejuvenated new place that I'm at, like, I can, I can shine and succeed. Yeah, you know, and I hope, uh, I hope he doesn't put too much of that pressure on himself. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of stuff on his mind, but um, as long as he goes out and competes and, and just bees himself, uh, I don't see anything going wrong. Uh, I'm excited, uh, obviously excited to play with him a lot more. Uh, could be my quarterback forever, so that's uh, that's pretty electric for me. What about you personally? Yeah. Yeah. Back home, first game is the same. Any, anything different about this one? Yeah, <laughs> of course, yeah, of course. Um, you know, it's just, there's the added effect. You know, it's the first one of the year. Everyone's, everyone's up, everyone's gassed up, everyone's rolling. Um, you know, no one's tanks on E right now. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a fun time. It's an interesting time. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm blessed, truly, in in way more ways than one. Can you let like that sink in at all? I mean, you were like what, 10, 11, 12 when the Saints won the Super Bowl, and probably dreamed about doing that. And now, you are for real. I mean, or do you just kind of say, hey, it's still, I'm a professional. I got to block it out. Of course. Uh, you know, it gets lost sometimes, just in the day to day of how special this is not just for me but for all of us right obviously I got a little bit a little bit of land yap there with everything that I'm doing but um, it's uh, it's a special job and we tend to forget that sometimes have you seen a different kind of confidence and energy in Derek Carr and the team this week headed in since it is finally game week um not necessarily um and I don't think that's really necessarily what you want as a competitor I mean I think Derek treats every week the same, and he, he treats every day like he wants to go out and, and kick someone's butt. Um, it's just for the past few weeks, it's been him versus Demario, uh, and now it gets to be you know him versus the Tennessee Titans. Any thoughts about on signing day? You were the last last guy. And here you are. You know, it's kind of kind of a strange journey, right? Yeah, uh, and I definitely I definitely took pride in that early, but um, I think speaking to anyone who's looking to do the same um it doesn't matter where you go it doesn't matter um who you're with it just matters who you are as a person um and so long as you believe in yourself no one else has to so it changes scenery it's not necessarily a panacea but what do you hope it can be for you and uh, and Derek? i'm sorry the vocabulary right? yeah what did he say <laughs> it's not necessarily a what it's not necessarily a cure, panacea. A, a panacea, a cure-all. Yeah, cure Boy, yeah. special. that's special right there. That's special. Uh, but but it, it can lead to good things. What do you hope for you and Derek? Well, I'm still blown away. I mean, um, you know, de I, well, you know, I mean, I don't talk about what track I was in. Anyway, look, um, I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to be here with Derek. Um, and I, I don't want to. I don't want to lose sight of those things. Um, he's been a really good player in this league for a long time, and, and he could command an offense. Um, and I've seen that firsthand. And I, I remember my rookie year, we're doing meetings like rookie meetings early on, and and Derek came in. He, he came in on one of the off days during OTAs that he didn't have to do, and he just said, "Hey guys, I just want to give you a bit of advice. Try to take this opportunity and put everything you can into it, because you know." In the famous words of Andre 3000, uh, spaceships aren't equipped with rearview mirrors, right? So you only get one shot at this thing, right? Um, and Derek kind of laid that out really plainly for us. Um, it led to me having a really good rookie year with, with those words etched at the top of my notebook. Um, and I never told him that just because, you know, he'd deny any, any allegations of actually helping someone. He's just a selfless guy. Um, I'm just, I'm, uh, you know, the old, I'm excited to be here cliche, but I, I really am. Like, I'm enjoying the football I'm playing. 
um, and I'm enjoying the people I'm playing it with and for, too. That's do important. You, do you play international players anthem about the four game or something? The what? The international player? player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm more of a Hey Ya guy or, or a Roses guy. Oh, it's a, look, I got a, I got an electric pregame playlist. You guys, I don't think you guys really want to know what's on there. You get to drop it. No, absolutely not. Absolutely <laughs> not.